Okay, hello everybody, Stuart McAdam here, and today we're gonna to be having a bit of a long form discussion around Facebook and Instagram advertising at this time of year. And we're talking about Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's, uh, this holiday period of gift buying and gift giving. It's really an interesting time to be an advertiser because there's so many different pieces of advice that are floating around uh, on the internet, on social media, and even from you know people that are doing more traditional based marketing. So it's really interesting and intriguing to see um, all of these things moving in motion. But perhaps the biggest emphasis and the biggest shift that we've seen is rather than um, promoting the push for people to uh, buy products for themselves, it is starting to shift towards you know buying something for somebody else, whether it's a loved one, whether it is for a family member, it's for a friend, it's for a work colleague, whatever it may be, you're beginning to see the uh, ad copy, particularly on Facebook and Instagram, but on other platforms as well, saying, um, buy this gift for um, somebody special, buy it for somebody, uh, get it as a Christmas gift. And that's probably helping some businesses that are looking to stand out a little bit more particularly in Black Friday and Cyber Monday promotions uh, to sort of get them over the edge a little bit so saying you know get your Christmas shopping sorted this Black Friday and I did see that from an advertiser and one of the things that was so interesting and unique about that is a lot of Black Friday ads you know if I just bring up the Facebook ads library uh, right now uh, for example, you know, it's talking about, you know, what you can save and what you can benefit from. So uh, one example right here, book your dream holiday. Um, you know, Black Friday hot sale, the most dazzling uh, you in the crowd. Um, if we come on to another example, it is, uh, this is the way to uh, make your ads funny. We've got a Black Friday special um, to get unlimited stock video footage. Uh, business owners, this is the way to make your ads funny. So it's about you, 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 and like talking directly to the person who's going to buy with a lot of Black Friday advertising. And the one that made the um, <clears throat> biggest impact on me actually was the one that took a bit more of a lighthearted approach. And that was with a company called uh, Luxury Orthopedic Beds. And I want to give a big shout out to them because I know people who have bought their beds and said nothing but great things about it. So powerful shout out to Luxury Orthopedic Beds. Not only do they have good quality beds, they have also got some pretty spectacular advertising as well. And one of the things that makes the advertising so good is because they speak a language that your everyday uh, person can understand and relate to. And it's not this kind of pushy, salesy, salesy, salesy language. It's, I mean, one of them, for example, starts with, uh, far out, all capitalized. You guys keep clearing us out. Why? Because word keeps on spreading about the heavenly blissful comfort. Low pricing for such a very high-end NZ made bed as we just operate from a warehouse. Most of our orders are sight unseen, having read all the wonderful reviews. So immediately it's using the language, um, obviously targeting the New Zealand market here, uh, talking about a couple of um, key benefits. So talking about New Zealand made, how you give us great reviews. So it's building confidence and trust. So if people do go and look at it and they can see the great reviews, it's confirming what is already being said. But speaking in a language that people can relate to, and people often do speak in uh, here in New Zealand, it's quite a amazing tactic. And the good thing too is their video thumbnail is if I have a quick look at um, what's being done here, it's um, it's talking about being uh, sold out again. Uh, you've got some guy, you know, with real high energy talking about, um, you know, the beds that they have on offer, like a whole sort of um, sort of drone style shot of it, and people packing up a a van with all the beds that they've just sold. So it's quite a great video to sort of build intrigue and get people engaged. So. Definitely kudos to uh, Luxury Orthopedic Beds. If you want to search them in 
the Facebook ads library. I uh, highly recommend it. It's, um, it's spelled P, um, P-A-E-D-I-C if you're in the United States. Um, include the A after the P uh, in orthopedic just so you can see the advertising. Highly recommend it at the moment. And that kind of brings us over to uh, the next thing, which is advertising, um, particularly at this time of the year. And it's, it's, it's interesting that a lot of advertisers are actually, um, actually talking a lot more about, um, you know, just doing retargeting and just focusing 90% of the efforts on that. So I've heard about companies where it's not uncommon for them to turn off all of their paid advertising for cold traffic and only focus on retargeting people who um, have engaged with the ads and community in the last um, sort of couple of couple of weeks, couple of months. So it's definitely something which is uh, gaining a lot of momentum. But you find too that it also helps quite a lot to uh, continue to do a little bit of cold advertising to build up your email list a little bit more. So um, my advice for people that are looking uh, to advertise at this time of the year is there's nothing wrong with doing uh, cold advertising uh, to people that are interested in your products. Just make sure that your targeting metrics are a lot more specific and not just um, broad-based because if you just go after broad-based um, audiences on on Facebook and Instagram, but also on other platforms as well, it can actually get quite hard to uh, get that push of momentum uh, to move forward. So that's um, sort of my thoughts there. Uh, in terms of some of the big, I guess, offers that are floating around at the moment, one of the most interesting ones was... Uh, <laughs> one which you know you would normally expect to be complimentary these days and it was from a marketing agency that was saying you know you can you can get a free call with us to sort of um, map out a strategy come up with a bit of a plan that was quite interesting to see but you know it's normally something that you'd expect to um, you know have complimentary for you anyway but at the same time you know interesting to see that they're giving it a go and that's the other thing too which um a lot of people have asked for feedback on they've, they've said um, is there any way we can determine how long we need our ads to run before they are fully optimized and on that one you look you need to make sure that you give your ads quite a bit of time to optimize properly like you know if you're going towards um, a budget that's north of about $50 a day, you can normally tell within about a week that, uh, whether or not your ads are working and then you can construct a plan to either scale them vertically or horizontally or you can look at doing uh, something that is completely different if, if the ads aren't uh, getting the results that you're expecting. But make sure you take careful notes of um, the things that didn't work and Maybe just reduce the budget back and introduce a new campaign that uses the rest of that budget to see if it maybe just needs a little bit more time. And another thing that you can do as well is to create um, campaigns which are structured a lot more towards uh, reaching people first and seeing if people engage and interact um, with your advertising if you're just trying to reach as many people as possible and I've done this with a few clients recently and been pleasantly surprised as to how effective they've actually been because uh, we've found that the more Facebook shows a particular uh, photo or uh, video ad uh, in the reach stage the more likely it is to be shown at the conversion stage as well and then go on to get the results so you know do do be prepared to spend a little bit of time just running the ads on a reach campaign and see see who which which um, images and videos that Facebook shows to people the most with which ad copy it's um, being balanced with. Just give it a go. So it's it's a bit of a balancing act, and at this time of the year, um, 
it really does pay to try something like this first before you go into a conversions based campaign because if you've got proof of concept with images and ad copy you can move forward with confidence so i'm going to leave it there everybody for today thank you so much for watching if you found this video useful and interesting don't forget to hit that like button down below and if you're new to the channel do consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next discussion bye for now